Amen. 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 Okay, welcome, welcome everybody once again. Life on the Rock, New Way Island, Sunday lunch today. We're starting off with a drink over here, as you can see. It looks peachy. Oh, yeah, some pieces of peaches inside there. It's a peach drink here today with two massive ice blocks on there. Put the ladle back on to where it belongs. Now we have bacon and egg fried rice over there with spring onions fresh topped on the top. And right over here we have our pasta bake. And on this platter we have the chicken nibbles over here. And we have potato scallop on this platter over here. And we have sausage rolls over here and we have your boiled taro as normal check out those taros there oh yep and we have soyu pork over here Ooh. smells yummy 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 and we have corn on the cob right here so that's us for today sunday lunch all righty Yes, our chicken nibbles. Bacon and egg, fried rice there. Top with us, fresh spring and leaves. And the sausage rolls almost gone already. And look at Bumi going. Excuse me. And look at that nice fresh little taro. Straight from the bush garden into the pot, not even 24 hours old. From the ground to the table. Already, sausage rolls all gone. But it's a fail because there's no refill. So nice try sausage roll today. Taste, 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 taste. Sausage roll. Nice. Yeah, this is, us, this is us today. Here are the kids on the round table. Dad, I got corn. You got corn? Yeah. Okay. Taro. I had to pay up. Taro. Sausage roll. And corn. And corn. How many kids have Yes. How many? I did, I did, I did. This is Nivellosa mm -hmm. over here. That's not mine. Okay. Oh, it's not mine. I did, Mama did. Feeding Erie with us. Erie is with us today. It's mm -hmm. nice to have Erie come and join us. <laughs> and Mort on this side here. That's Mort's plate. A little bit of everything. For me, that's what he's having too. Roshi pasta and potato. Fuff on that side. Oh, that's on her plate. And then hay over here. Almost done. Wait, Look at this drink. It's not bad. Is it Mati Dad? Hmm? Is it Mati? You drink? Yeah. Okay. No, that's yeah, mine. That's your drink. It's mine. It's mine. Yes. Look at this little lady over here. Scalp yeah. potatoes, fried rice, and chicken. Follow me, Nucky. Home. This is what Nucky's having. Oh, all the good stuff. Yep, corn, a little bit of everything. That's what the brothers have today. As you can see, a bit of different location right today. It's a very, very hot day today. Very hot. Yes, so that's why the we... The whole week. Yes, the whole week. Yesterday was hot, that's why we changed location. Come over here to your sister's unit. So we can make use of the air calm, keep us cool, and also eat in peace. No flies to worry about. All right.
try and test this thing off the string. See what it's like. Not too bad. Peach flavor today. Not bad. Still can't beat the home brews. I'll start over here. Corn, fried rice, chicken nibbles, and the potato bake. Over here. Cold potato, fried rice, chicken, and a side note. This one here. It's the purple taro. See how purple this taro is? Anyway, it's called taro mangakula. And that taro here, according to our tradition, you only planted it on in February. So when it comes up, it will just come up as a single taro and can be big. Anytime you plant it outside of this month, the taro, this type of taro will have more than one monk we call it. Again, anything from two to more, four, six, or eight. You know, they pretty come up in all these bunches and pretty hard to peel. Whereas if you do it in, you plant them in February, they just come up as a single plant. Pretty big. Very beautiful as well to eat. Yeah, you heard it. Look at that. Look how dense it is. Yeah. And here's what I have on my plate today. Some bits of uh, chicken nibbles, a couple of corn on the cob, my favorite taro, which is the fasasea, three pieces, and a bit of pork. It doesn't look like much, but uh, I don't think you can tell. This plate is it's, it's a pretty massive plate. It's big, it's bigger than the normal size plate that we use. As you can see here, normal size plate on the top and the bigger plate at the bottom. So it's a bigger plate that I'm using here. Check out this taro. Like you heard me say before in all the other videos, and a lot of people also that has been mentioning on the videos, Niwa Taro is the best. Look at this piece of pork. Mm. Mm. Beauty. Here we go. This one here. This is the um, end of the taro when you cut the top off to be planted. So this is the smooth part that was um, from it. But these are also the piece to eat when they're this size or this small because they're pretty, um, very compact. This is the one that they will first go for because it's just. Beautiful. So the big ones are pretty much for display. And, and people will like to eat it as well. But if it's the small ones like this, these were the ones who will be going off first. But pretty much the people in the know, most of them would prefer the hoolies anyways. Like the big massive, massive taros. And the big size ones that you see in some of the videos we have that we harvested, they're okay. We still eat them all right, but taste wise, in comparison to the small ones, the small ones would always taste better. Uh, this pork is nice. Lemongrass in there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. All the pork fat there too. Very nice. Mm. Much nicer eating in here. Nice and cool. Relaxed. You don't see me 
Waving my hand, chasing the flies away. Oh, that's nice. A lot of you have been asking about the recipe for the drinks in the past videos. Most of those drinks were coconut based, coconut water, meaning most of it was just pure coconut. That's why it's tasting so nice, nothing can beat pure coconut. And we just chucked in on couple of cans of fruit salad or whatever else just to mix it in there. The one that I mentioned is uh, beetroot homebrew, it's not even beetroot and I even even mentioned in that video that it's a uh, dragon fruit. I think about a quarter or half of it, the purple colored one, just blended it and just chucked it in the drink just for the color. So I got the very soft flesh of the coconut and I blended it all up just for that white milky color just chucked it in the drink also that drink was kind of like milky-ish the color is from the jelly the coconut jelly flesh of the young coconut and most of those drinks are nice because of the coconut water coconut based take a little bit of time to make it was I think a minimum about six six to eight coconuts for those drinks and then we chucked in a little bit of Sprite just to make it fizzy a little bit. That's it. You can just chuck in anything you wish and just taste it and see how it goes from there. Only thing about, the, about those drinks, the coconut water, it takes a little bit of time and effort to prepare the coconuts. Grab it from the coconut tree, husk it, and split it for the juice. Then scrape the, the flesh inside to add onto the drink. Then <laughs> everything else is just pretty much from your imagination. Just add it on there. But the real trick is done by the coconut the water. Nice and sweet. Yeah, I guess you can try those coconut water from the stores for your drink. I don't, it might not exactly be the same, but might be close enough. Also, this coconut water that you buy from the stores, taste-wise, it doesn't really taste like the actual coconut water that from the actual coconut off the tree. It tastes more like coconut water or the coconut that you husk and you either boil it or you bake it in the umu then it gives that type of flavor, that type of taste. The store bought ones. That's my opinion. Cooked coconut water flavor. But the real deal, straight from the coconut, it doesn't taste like that. It tastes much, much better. So there we go. Miriam's gone already, back to New Zealand. So we miss her already with our Sunday lunches and we miss her cooking also. And maybe in a couple of weeks, Robin will be off also for a couple of weeks. So it'll be just back to us and when that happens I think we might cancel our Sunday lunch videos <laughs> until they get back onto the island and then we'll have it on again. Alright, thank you for checking out this video this week guys. So, signing out now, Chahika right here, Life on the Rock, thank you for watching. Catch on the next episodes and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Support our little channel here on New and subscribe. Check you out there. Have fun. Peace.